The man of steel has proven to be as vulnerable as the mere mortals who've looked up to him for more than half a century. Superman died Wednesday. East Greg Agnew reports on a world without the first superhero. Yeah, I'm saddened and disappointed by it. I feel like the uh, what they're going to do now is probably uh, bring him back in a sort of like a um, more modern, a little less uh, interesting version. That's a terrible thing. One less fantasy figure. I mean, what are what are us women to do? <laughs> Who can we look up to if not Superman? Superman meets his demise at the hands of supervillain Doomsday in the 75th edition of the popular DC comic. There's a big fight between a character called Doomsday and Superman, and Superman is trying to protect Metropolis and his friends and the Lois and the other superheroes and uh, makes the ultimate sacrifice. Experts say the ultimate sacrifice could be profitable for collectors. It usually depends on how quickly a, a comic sells out. Well, it depends on how many people want the, uh, the particular issue. I mean, if there's 20 million people out there that want the two and a half million copies, then the loss of supply and demand will take hold. Regardless of how the masses feel, there's one special breed of expert who knows the true bottom line, the serious investor. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's, like, good or bad because, well, it doesn't really matter about the, the, um, the comic or, like, the person. This matters of how much money it, it costs it costs and how much money it's worth. Critics say the lure of future profits will force Superman to come back. Comics are a business, so they want to generate as much sales as they can, and, and anything they can bring in to generate the sales in terms of storylines or things of that nature, they'll, they'll do it. And, of course, the real experts are the ones who determine the law of supply and demand. I'll get the first one. From Los Angeles, I'm Greg Agnew for E! News Daily. Coming up Thursday who did him in. The Man of Steel has met his match in a battle to defend Metropolis, and from New York to Los Angeles, faithful readers are snapping up the final Doomsday issue, even though many are skeptical about Superman's demise. Well, I think he'll come back as the same. It just, uh, they'll make up a story how he can come back, but he'll come back. He'll come back <laughs> souped up. You know, they souped up Superman, that, that's what it is. He's been America's greatest comic book hero for more than 50 years, and millions tuned in as Superman used his superhuman powers on the long-running TV series. Up, up, and away! But in recent years, Superman's had a tough time keeping up with the new high-tech comic book heroes. Even die-hard fans were becoming disappointed. Now they have these high-tech superheroes like that shoot things out of their hands and stuff. Like have superpowers. I mean, he has he could fly, but that's I don't know. I think he should have something else. And comic book store owners like Bill Leibowitz say the Man of Steel was badly in need of an overhaul. I think it's an opportunity to do something startling with the character and certainly hike up the sales, but more importantly to focus attention on comic books, comic books as entertainment, and to show the interest in, in this character. Just how Superman will return to the comic pages is anyone's guess. And two people who knew him best from the TV series, Jack Larson, who played cub reporter Jimmy Olsen, and Noel Neal, who played Lois, are keeping their fingers crossed. If we thought Superman would ever be back mm -hmm. from his supposed demise, we think yes, because he left this oh. with us. <laughs> and we're keeping it for him to claim it when he comes back. All right. Well, do you think it's a hot item? It is. Based on advanced sales, the Superman death issue is already the best-selling issue in Superman comic book.